You know, Elizabeth, I, I love the scene in the airplane uh, when you, when Mike Myers and you are, are talking, and uh, it's reminded me of some of my, my worst airplane experiences when I've had the seatmate from hell next to me. Uh, when you fly, what kind of unusual experiences have you had with uh, bothersome fellow passengers? Oh, well, I'm not very friendly on an airplane, actually. I refuse point blank to converse with the person sitting next to me. I can't bear it. So I always put a sleep mask and ear things on the second I sit on the plane and don't play at all. Isn't that awful? Yeah. Unfriendly in English. Mm. You know, I love the scenes in Las Vegas uh, in this movie. Now, it's a, kind of a surreal town. Is that one of the more surreal locations that you shot at? And who got the bigger reaction, you or, or your co-star? Well, I love Vegas. I mean, I hadn't been before until we went there to shoot. And um, I thought it was a really cool place. I know everybody else says it's hell. I liked it a lot. I mean, I've been back a few times since, I have to say. I've been trying to learn to play blackjack properly. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. You know, love the costumes in this film. You look very Emma Peelish in, in some of them. Uh, were there ever days that when you walked into a costume that you were dreading, like, what are they going to put on me today? No, because I chose them all. So, no, they were all my choice. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, so what, what, where did you go shopping for, uh, for this stuff? Well, I, we had, I think most of the stuff was made, actually. Um, you know, we had a costume designer on the film who designed that silver suit and the yeah. black cat yeah. suit. And then I had somebody else from New York who did all the rest of my clothes. And, um, you know, I sort of helped. You know, there's, there's a great line in the film when uh, you're talking about the, uh, one of the other female characters and you're putting her down and Mike Myers says, well, plate of milk, uh, table two. Meow. Mm. A catty thing. It was funny, at the screening today, there were people around me and they were all kind of evaluating you, your looks, your hair, how you looked. Thanks uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering, do you find that like, when you walk into a room, uh, who do you think is scrutinizing you more, men or women? Well, I look at girls way more than I look at boys, so I assume girls are looking at me more. I should think so. I'm obsessed with what girls wear and what they look like. I love it. Yeah. You know, one of our anchors said once that she always felt uh, she had to dress up when she went out in public because people would come up to her and say, oh, you're wearing sweatpants? What are you doing? Do you feel that, uh, that need sometimes, too? Or are people like ever rude to you when they come up? And well, I don't have the slightest desire to go out in sweatpants <laughs> as it happens. I'm very happy to dress properly. <laughs> So um, I don't really have that dilemma. Um, no, I mean, if I wanted to wear sweatpants, I'd wear them. I mean, I think really you wear whatever you like. No, no one's ever come up to me to be rude. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen, but they haven't so far.